seriously check out this cart. That's like, it's, it's like square wheels. It's legitimately square wheels. Check out these puppies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to La Salalco where we have long time. I was home for a total of 80 hours before hopping back on a plane and landing here. This is an island in the Canary Islands. It's not far from Fort Aventura, Tenerife, and Gran Canera. It is largely made up of volcanic action, which is why it is so bare and so black. It's a really beautiful place, and it's really popular with triathletes and also with cyclists mainly because the weather is sweet all year round. Although today looks pretty grey. I'm busy pedalling up the hardest climb on the island, which is Tabayesco. Nice little road. Downtime. Normally the end of September is the end of my racing season. I'll take a nice long four to six week break, do everything but train, and then start up again nice and unfit and mentally refreshed. This season is different though. My team, Lowest Rates, got invited to the Tour of Rwanda which runs from the 13th of November until the 20th of November. That means I started racing on March 4th and I'll finish racing on November 20th. I'm so excited for this tour. It's a race that I've wanted to do for a long time and it's a race that I've been trying to get into for the last three or four years. Every year I see these photos and I see videos from the, from the race and I've watched the documentary Rising from the Ashes and Rwanda is just a country that appeals to me so much and it's a place that I really wanna see and really wanna explore. The tour is known as one of Africa's hardest races, but what's really cool is that it's known as Africa's best supported race. The crowds in Rwanda are immense. They have this amazing passion for bike racing and they all just turn out to see their national tour. It is just a massive thing in the country. The race is extremely tough. It's, it's gonna be the hardest race I've ever done. The race is eight days. It starts with a prologue and then follows with seven road stages. The total distance from the tour is 820 kilometers but what is completely insane is the quantity of climbing is 20,000 meters over eight days. Yeah, 20,000 meters. The toughest stage of the whole race is stage four. It's only 140 kilometers, but it has 4,250 meters of climbing. Rwanda is known as the country of a thousand hills and that is why. We're not just going there to race though. To give back to the race and to give back to some of Rwanda's cyclists, my team has started a donation campaign. We are collecting new and barely used equipment and clothing to take with us to Rwanda and give to their cyclists. You can watch the project's promo videos in French and in English here and here. And for any other details, I'll link the team's website just down below. With the race 50 days away and counting, my week off is finished and I'm back on the bike, working hard, getting ready for what is going to be an insanely hard race but a race that I'm so excited about and an experience that I can't wait to have and I can't wait to share with my teammates and with you guys. I'm like over the moon about this. this, one, this, one, this one. Ah!